Hi, I'm Rebecca from Be Thinking. I'm the Education Coordinator, and today I'm going to be talking to you about what a top bar hive is. Essentially, a horizontal top bar hive is a horizontal cavity with top bars laid across the top that the bees build comb down from naturally. Horizontal top bar hives seem to be the oldest known and most commonly used hives in the world. Rather than expanding vertically like they would in a worry hive or a Langstroth hive, Top bar hives expand horizontally. You can expand and contract the amount of space your bees have by using this moving wall or divider board. This means there's no lifting of heavy boxes when you're getting into your hive, and the most you're ever lifting is one comb at a time, which is about seven or eight pounds when it's full of honey or brood. Bees also tend to be a little bit more docile when keeping them in a horizontal hive style, because as you're going through, you're pulling out just one bar at a time, and exposing just a little bit rather than pulling off the whole roof or the whole box. The nature of the horizontally expanding hive does require that you do more frequent maintenance inspections. That's why we developed the window portion of the hive. That way you can peek in and see their progress, see how far they've expanded without actually getting into the hive. We offer our top bar hives in both sugar pine and the premium western red cedar. Both our western red cedar and sugar pine come from FSC certified forests, meaning it came from a forest strictly managed to prevent illegal logging, promote growth, and support surrounding communities. Western red cedar is a little bit more expensive, but it lasts a lot longer since the wood is naturally rot resistant and doesn't require painting. Sugar pine is a great economy option for top bar hives. The weight and density of the pine won't be a problem since you won't be lifting heavy boxes. To learn more about Western Red Cedar and Sugar Pine, click here to check out our in-depth video covering the differences. All top bar hive roofs are pitched so water runs off nicely, and then you have a couple of options for configuration. You can get copper panels, which do last a little bit longer and reflect more of the light, or standard wooden. You can swap out your panels really at any time. When closed, the roof provides a nice air buffer inside as well that provides insulation. Bee Thinking's top bar hive roofs have state-of-the-art hinge design, where it's essentially an L-shaped groove on the inside that keeps it in place steadily, but also makes it very easy to remove. Each hive comes with 28 top bars that lay flush together. Each one has a precision milled wedge comb guide that the bees can festoon on and build all of their comb down from naturally and straight. And when flush, place side by side, the top bars do have proper bee space, so 3 8 of an inch in between each of those wedge guides. All of our top bar hives come with three entrances on the back side. All of the entrances can be sealed with solid bungs, come standard with the whole kit. It also comes with an entrance reducing bung, which is the same thing with the hole drilled in the middle, and that's good for use during the winter time to keep cold air from getting in. It also reduces the amount of space guard bees have to protect from robbing bees or other pests. And then at the top of the entrance board, there are three ventilation holes. They do come fitted with corks and a little bit of screen on the other side, and that allows moisture to escape the hive during the winter. You also have a choice between a solid and screened bottom board for your top bar hive. I generally recommend sticking with the solid bottom board unless you live in a place that's really hot and humid, in which case ventilation will be beneficial for you. Screen bottom boards do come with a sliding Corex insert, so you can close it back up during the winter time to provide a little more insulation, but it's still not going to provide the quality of insulation that a solid bottom board would. Our top bar hives come standard with legs and brace boards, so that raises the hive up to a nice waist level, so you're not doing a lot of crouching or bending when you're doing your lifting or any of your beekeeping. By keeping the hive body up off the ground, you're also preventing moisture from getting into the bottom of the hive, as well as discouraging pests. Since there is no foundation or a full frame, and the bees are building natural comb, we recommend not inspecting and managing comb when it's really hot outside. This is because the comb is a little bit more fragile, and when it's hot, the wax is going to be a little bit more pliable. The benefits of using a horizontal top bar hive is that there's no heavy lifting, combs are easy to remove with an ultimate hive tool, window for easy checking and observation, simple crush and strain honey harvest, and quick maintenance inspections. Some of the disadvantages is that it does require more frequent monitoring, there are fragile combs, and they're less common, so there are less resources available in a smaller community, but it is growing. 
Assembly is quick and easy. It comes with proper instructions as well as all of the hardware and all of the components are pre-drilled. So you basically have to fit it and drill it. In the continental United States, you can choose to get your hive assembled or unassembled. The only tools needed for assembly will be a drill or a screwdriver and a ratchet. Thanks so much for watching. To order your very own horizontal top bar hive, go to bethinking.com. And if you liked this video, subscribe to see more just like it.